morning and welcome to a new, brand new weekly vlog. I hope you enjoyed the last one. If you haven't seen it, I will link it below as always. Just gonna go grab some breakfast real quick. Tom's out all day today in meetings. It's Monday. I have a day of admin, editing, blogging, all that jazz. So um, I'm gonna be staying in all day today as well because he's taking the car. So. Pretty boring one today. I've got a few bits here which I wanted to show you. They are from various companies like Zafool, Sammy Dress, and Gamis, I think they are. But anyway, I'll show you them later. There's just a few bits there that I really um, like and quite impressed with, so I'll leave links to them below as well. And then tomorrow I'm at the dentist. One night this week I think we're gonna try and go to the cinema. I love going to the cinema. Tom's a bit like indifferent about it. It's not that he doesn't enjoy it, but he probably wouldn't go if I wasn't so keen to go. And then on Friday, I'm getting my hair done. Then the week after, we're off to Barcelona, which I'm so excited for. It was my Christmas present to Tom. I also told him for his birthday, we're going to, uh, which is in March, to Naples, which I've booked. And then we're gonna like drive down to Sorrento, stay there for a couple of nights, up via Pompeii, stay in Naples for the last night and then come home. So that's what we're doing in March. But yeah, we thought we would challenge ourselves maybe this year to travel a bit more. So we've already got two trips planned in, Barcelona, then Naples. And I think we could do it, because we can do it fairly on a budget. We do like to stay like in a nice hotel, um, and then obviously the spending money as well, because we, especially Tom, loves his food and loves trying local food wherever we go. So we do eat out quite a lot. Um, we're not big drinkers, so we don't spend a lot of money on alcohol, but um, the majority of our money when we're away is probably spent on food, to be honest. But anyway, so yeah, we thought uh, we would challenge ourselves. So list down some places that you would recommend visiting um, that are fairly close to us, so probably Europe-based. We went to Berlin, which we've already done, and we've already done Dublin. We're doing Barcelona and Naples. So list down some alternative cities below that you think we should try and visit this year and get Get booked in so yeah I'd be interested to see what you guys recommend um, and as for now I'm gonna go get some breakfast and I'll catch you in a bit just before I head out I thought I'd show you my outfit for today I am wearing just a plain black vest top or like long sleeve top from Asda I think it is from this like poncho style top over the top which is from TK Maxx my Primark velvet line leggings which are incredible my Ralph Lauren boots which I got from TK Maxx and then my misguided shearling jacket, which I'll leave below. And it's just so cozy and warm. So I'm tempted for other colors, but we shall see. It's freezing. It's so cold. Look how icy it is. <gasps> so I've just been sat here doing some editing, admin, and I've got a new blog post up as well, in case you're interested. This is my blog, by the way, freyafarrington.com. And then, I've done this post here, which is my New Year's resolutions and goals for 2018. Sat here currently in front of loads of chocolates and biscuits, which I'm finding so hard to resist right now. Look how shiny I am. Whoa. Um, yeah, look at this massive box of Gillian as well, which has been incredible. And we're sure enough working our way through it, <laughs> slowly but surely. In fact, I think what I might do is show you those, the clothes that I was talking about earlier, because I feel like whilst we're still in the light, considering it gets dark so early at the minute, let's have a look and see what I got. The first thing that I got, which I really like, I don't want to say the wrong brand, so I'll leave uh, links to all these items below and like prices and everything. So this is the first thing. It's a gorgeous little like faux suede um, jacket. It's actually really, really soft and really good quality. The zip hardware detailing and everything feels good quality as well, which I know with these websites can be a bit hit and miss. And I love the shade of it as well. It's like a really, really light gray as opposed to like a dark gray, obviously. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like, it. I think this in the summer or like summer springtime when it's still a bit chilly, uh, but like with an all white outfit could be really, really cute. So yeah, that's the first thing. And then this was also sent to me, which I feel like was a big trend. Is it like houndstooth or is this like the Prince of Wales check? I don't know. But um, essentially it's like a long little um, coat. Well, not really coat, like blazer style 
jacket because it's quite thin and then the sleeves are quite short as well. I actually don't know how I feel about the sleeves being this short. I kind of, I think I'd have preferred it if the sleeves were full length. But it's super lightweight, so again, if this is like a trend that continues on, then this could be a great little spring, summer kind of piece. Two little accessories that I got, the first one being this belt, which, I mean, I wouldn't wear it with this outfit, I've just got like um, leggings and a plain black top on, but just to give you an idea. I like the fact that there's no holes or anything, so you can wear it as tight as you want, or if you want it around your hips, you can wear it a bit lower. So if I wore it like that, I quite like the fact that it's just like a simple ring detail. And then also got this accessory, which I really like. It's a cute little bag in white and black, which is very me, as you know. White and black, this whole room. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's all with like silver hardware detailing as well. So yeah, that feels fairly heavy duty and it's a good little staple clutch bag. Also got these little geometric triangle type earrings. So you put this little triangle part here in your ear and then this one goes onto the back of it. Can you see there? So that bit goes through your ear and this bit actually connects at the back. So yeah, I find just minimal jewellery is my go-to. And then I also got a few clothing items which I think, shall I try these on or shall I just show you? In fact, I'll try them on for you. Why not? Although I do feel like the battery is probably gonna die. I think this one, yeah, this one's from Zafal and it's got all these cutout detailing here and like distress detailing. This always reminds me of uh, Wild Fox. Love the little cutout there. It's just something a bit different. I love a little pop of a collarbone. So yeah, I really like this. I love that it's white as well and it's a true white. Then I also have this one, which I love the color of this. Essentially, it's like a beige kind of tan color. I think this is like a really good transitional color. I love the design of it. It's something different, something unique. Can you see it's like ribbed? So yeah, love that. I know I'm not tanned at all at the minute, but in summer when I get there, <clears throat> this with like some white jeans. I think looks nice. Another little simple basic, which is just a bit different. I just pull this crop top down a little bit underneath and these leggings up. So I'm okay with a bit of a pop of show there. I quite like wearing high-waisted things with a bit of skin, like midriff showing. And this is just a simple, like, very, what's the word, Breton style. Considering I lived in Brittany for a while in France, this is like very, very French, I'd say. Okay, so. Also have a couple of dresses, this first one being um, nice and loose fit, like this is like my perfect kind of dress, especially to wear like spring summertime, um, just because of the looseness and comfortness, comfortness of it, but you know what I mean. Um, I love the block panel there up the black here and just black and white, plain, simple, less is more, as I keep saying. And then, yeah, I just like the like fit of it and everything. And these are so affordable as well. So I will, as always, link it below. Okay, then this one is kind of similar in terms of it being a stripy Breton style dress. Um, but the sleeves are nice and long, which I love. It's kind of more of an oversized slouchy fit. And then the stripes as well, they kind of contrast because they're horizontal here. And then the sleeves are, well, I suppose, you could say horizontal if you stood like that, but they're like vertical, so I quite like that as opposed to the other one which is black and white. This one's definitely navy. I'm not sure it's if it's picking up on camera or not, but it is. Maybe even if it's warm enough for when we go to Naples in March. And then this with like a nice little jacket, clutch bag and some flat shoes to just browse. I'm so excited to go there, so ooh, go and wait. And lots of Italian food. It is a two-piece, but I would wear it together. It's the same material, and it's just a very cool, chic, like, classic kind of culotte-style pants, like cropped ones as well. So again, another good outfit to wear on a nice little European break somewhere or in the British summer, springtime. And it, like, crosses at the back as well, that design there. And then this last one, again, very, like, suited to springtime. Again, these like loose collapse style pants. It is a one piece though, with a nice little cutout detailing here and buttons, and it is like backless. So um, it just ties up at the back, and then this bit goes nice and high waisted as well. It's a little on the big side for me. Yes, all these clothes are getting me very much in the summer mode. 
and I did get this as well which I'll just show you pair of like striped or I should say ribbed not striped um, joggers and they're in like this gorgeous little cream kind of colour and then this top to go with it which is a bardo style off the shoulder um, in the same fabric so they describe, I think they described that as like jogger loungewear set, which it kind of is, but the material isn't really a jogger material. It's like a real stretchy fabric that's, it doesn't feel luxury and warm and like jogger cozy kind of style. It's more, I think, because of the lightweight material better suited to like summer, springtime. So I'm going to get changed back into my winter clothes because it's freezing outside today. I think it's about three degrees or something. So definitely not appropriate for this kind of attire. Nearly finished. We have one, four episodes left. Oh. How do you feel about it finishing? Not happy. Not happy. What are we having for dinner? Homemade by Chef Tommy. Oh. Smells delish. What? Might not be the best one. Might not be the best. Pressure's on. Although I'm not a fussy eater, am I? I'm not a fussy eater, which means I will like anything. Anything that Tommy makes. No, I do actually really appreciate Tom's cooking abilities. I'm always the one that cleans up. He doesn't even let me cook in the kitchen because he, um, he knows what he likes and he likes finesse in the kitchen which I don't really do. I'm not really bothered for. There's my phone. I'm just coming up looking for my phone. So yes, I don't know if we'll manage to finish Breaking Bad tonight, but we're so close and it's so sad. I hate finishing a series because, oops, you get so into it and then it's all over. All that commitment, that time and effort you put into it. Oh, I've just spotted a spider. Tom can deal with that one. This is the finished product. We've got couscous at the bottom, broccoli asparagus, and then salmon fish cakes, which we bought the salmon from Aldi, which you saw in my Aldi shop. Uh, when did we go to Aldi? Last week? Last week. All right, so it was in last week's vlog, sorry. And then some, is that chili jam on top? Yeah. Yum. Good morning, off to the dentist. Let me just get in. After the dentist this morning, I'm going to get fillings. Oh, if you ever you've had in, uh, fillings before, you get the injection. <sighs> and I don't like needles. Not a fan. However, I might have a bit of a like slanting face um, afterwards. So whether or not I vlog for the rest of the day, we'll see because I'll be like this. If ever you've had one, you know exactly what I'm talking about. All of this is numb. It's awful. <laughs> So embarrassing. I like have to walk out like this everywhere. Hi, hi. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. <gasps> I got a delivery. This will be my video for next week, I'm thinking. So this will be up already, this pretty little thing haul. So I will leave it linked below if you want to see what I got. There is a theme of kind of like beiges, nudes, neutral tones as like a transitional colour from this time of the year into like spring, summer. So um, yeah, we'll leave it linked below if you want to go watch it. My swelling's completely gone now. Has it completely gone? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> you know how it is if ever you've had a filling, it's that like embarrassing, like you feel like your face is this big. It doesn't hurt, it's just very like numb and you can't control or do anything just sat editing my weekly vlog which will already have gone live weekly vlog too and i've just i think finished it now there might be a couple of bits that i want to clip out but it's around about the 40 minute mark now is that okay for you guys <laughs> because that's quite long i personally love watching like throughout vlogmas and everything when zoella was doing her long vlogs which are like 45 minutes plus i really like that i love like sitting down and getting like even if i've got if it's a meal time or a nice cup of coffee and just to like relax and enjoy it i actually quite like a long a long vlog but yeah 
feedback because that's quite long. I personal preference like it. I know some of you have mentioned before that my videos um, are a bit too long, but they might be hauls. They might not be the vlogs that you think that you think is too long. So I'd love to know your feedback on um, whether or not you think around 40 minute mark is going to be too long for these weekly vlogs because yeah. I'm intrigued to know. I've been reading your comments and it means so, so much to me that you guys are enjoying them and may they continue, I hopefully will. Um, next week's vlog I'll be filming in Barcelona, which will be amazing. The only thing is, is I woke up with a bit of a tickle in my throat this morning, so I'm hoping that will pass. I am quite fortunate in that Tom has an office um, fairly close by like walking distance. So if ever I fancy a bit of a change of scenery, I can go over there. In fact, I might head over in a bit just for a brow, uh, for a browse, just for a, b a bit of fresh air. Um, go see what he's up to and what he wants for dinner tonight and then come back, get on with a bit more work. But I'm pretty much done for work today and it's only like 3.45. Oh, and another thing I wanted to say, which is kind of exciting, if you read my 2018 goals and new year's resolution type blog post i'll leave it linked below if you want to have a read one of the things was to start up horse riding again because i used to do it when i was in school i actually set up the horse riding club at our school i did start to get a few back issues though which is what i was a bit concerned about and then when I left school and went to university in Manchester, I just didn't pick it up again. I called a local stables and they did say they were fairly fully booked, but I sent across my details, said that I'm pretty flexible in terms of timings because I'm self-employed. And so she got back to me straight away saying, oh, well, actually we can fit you in for a private lesson on Wednesday, which is three quarters of an hour and it's 20 pounds. So I said, yes. So that's tomorrow and oh, I'm kind of a bit scared, a bit nervous, but excited. Hey, baby. So what are we having for dinner? Chicken chorizo, tomato, peas, eggs. I can know an Italian sort of thing, you're doing one pan. Right. Cook the pasta in the same pan as the chicken. Can we have a look? Wait till the piece de resistance when you plate it up. That's French, though. Oh, well. I speak French, I don't speak Italian. Ciao bella. That's about the most Italian I get. Just watching Rick Stein. What do you always say about Rick Stein? That's not for camera, is it? <laughs> it's not for camera. Tissue from it. Oh, you're gonna break that yolk. Really good for you. Trito and the pasta's great for you. <laughs> the peas, on the other hand. So I'm doing it. I'm just about to go horse riding, which I am very excited for. I'm glad that they managed to like fit me in at late notice. She was like, well, we can fit you in on Wednesday. So <laughs> today is Wednesday. I've got all my old riding gear out, which is kind of funny from school. Thomas said that maybe one day he'll come and watch me. So when he does that, if I go back, then, um, I'll get him to maybe capture some footage. Boots and chaps, I have no idea where these are from. They were, they're years old. Leggings Primark, I've got a pair of tights on as well underneath because it's freezing. Top is just like a long sleeve top from Asda. I'm gonna throw on a hoodie. So I'm not really in like professional riding here. I've not got jodhpurs or anything anymore. If I continue it, if I do it as a regular thing, I'm keep doing it this year then I probably will invest in some gear but for now just gonna throw on a hoodie and maybe like my Jack Wills body warmer good to go I just thought I would check in with you this morning seeing as though I didn't last night just once I finish off my makeup so I've just done like my base makeup and I'm um, just gonna do my brows and put on some mascara so horse riding yesterday was so much fun it was so good to go back i booked in for a month's time which seems a long time like in between but because we're going away to barcelona next week and then the week after that is month end or it's actually year end for like if you're self-employed to get your tax returns in and all that jazz i was saying all that jazz i've noticed in these videos i never realized i used to say that um and now i've pointed it out to you as well <laughs> but it's also my mum's birthday at the end of the month, so I don't know what's going to happen. So I said, let's book for the week after. So I'm booked in at the 7th of Jan. 
7th of Feb. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I tell you one thing, I forget how much of a workout it is because there was one point when I was going round and like he was, because it's a riding school pony, he was a bit like resistant so I had to fairly kick him to get him going, like to get him going. And um, and then like I kept him going for like quite a long time in trot and then in canter, then in trot. And at, when I came back down to walk and I stopped and I was like, I was physically out of breath. And today I am actually going to Tom's office, even though he's not going to be there, he's out and about in meetings. I'm going to go and get some admin work done for him, accounts. That is the plan for today, but tomorrow I'm going to try and book in to get my nails done in the morning because that one, sorry, sorry to swear at you, this one here has come off and then half of this one has as well. They're only shellac, so I'm just going to get them redone while well, hopefully going to book in to get them redone. And I thought I'd book in in the morning because all afternoon I'm at the hairdressers. Spoke to Tom this morning, we said maybe we'll try and go to the cinema tomorrow night. Um, what else have I got to update you on? My cold is still there, but it's not, it, touch wood, it's not that bad. I might skip forward a few days and then think, oh, if only. This is that lip liner that I bought in, is it last week's vlog or this week's? I get confused. It's number seven in nude. So I just like use that all over my lips. And then I think I'm gonna go with Hue today which is nice and natural. I've realized I've been talking for way too long on this clip, so I'm probably gonna end it right now. So I just thought I'd film a little bit of an update because I am in the office at Tom's and I've been tasked with helping him out with something very admin related. I've got a big pile of things to do and I've just realized and it's now half four, having got everything else done that I needed to do for today that this is gonna take me a while. So anything that we don't get done, obviously I've said I'd help him out, but anything we don't get done today, and he's not in today, so it's just me doing it, then back in on Saturday to do. So ideally I wanna get through as much as possible. So even if it means a late night, I'm happy to do that. Um, because tomorrow is kind of gonna be like my Saturday because I've booked in to get my nails done and then also my hair in the afternoon and I'll pretty much be there for like the majority of the day. So what we've said we will do is probably tomorrow night we'll have a bit of a date night and go to, I think we're gonna go to the cinema and see what's on and then um, maybe out for some food in Burnley. We've got a restaurant so we'll probably just go there because we know we like our food and we know what we like, so <laughs> we'll just go to, to um, our restaurant in Burnley, which is Illuminati. If you've never been and you're from the area, then let me know and I'll book you in. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go maybe for some like, we do hanging kebabs and burgers and all that sort of stuff. So have a bit of a treat, a bit of a date night tomorrow. And as for today, it's probably gonna be a late one. So I'm gonna say goodnight. I'm gonna actually go and get a coffee because I feel like I've just started the list and to commit to it, I need to have a coffee, give me a bit of a kick and then just get on with it. So that's the plan. Kind of ironic when I say I'm off to get my nails done, but look what my nail has just done. I've just scratched my arm by accident. Can you see that? How bad does that look? I literally was just pulling out a jumper and then somehow caught my arm. And it's actually, oh my god, I've actually drawn blood. That's so bad. Anyway, off to get my nails done. I'm um, just gonna grab some uh, coffee on route. I think I might need to fill up with petrol. And then, cinema date tonight. I've had a look, Tom hasn't yet, so he thinks we're still going. But there's nothing on. Like, I honestly don't know what we're gonna go watch. And then, um, I don't wanna watch Star Wars. Really don't wanna watch that. There is a new one out about Churchill, Darkest Hour, which looks okay. Um, ooh, ooh. So we'll see. We shall see. And of course, I'll bring you along with me. Let's go. These are the nails I went for. I went for like a nude, or well, in fact, it's the same nude that I had before, but I've gone for like a chrome on the like ring finger, which I've never had before. I think it's really pretty. I've had acrylics before and longer nails, but because I wear contact lenses, it can be quite tricky getting them in and out with like long acrylic nails. So I did that. I also went into um, 
I might as well show you whilst I'm sat in the car. Just about to pop into TK Maxx over there and see. Just literally have a quick browse. Only because I'm right here anyway. Um, I got this, which I saw Ellie Darby haul from Poundland recently. So I thought I would pick one up. It's just one of those mats that you put around your toilet for a pound. Bargain. And then I went into the works because they were having a closing down sale everything must go so i've bought a few new additions to my monochrome book collection which i am very tempted to actually do like a, a big haul and a more in-depth video about all my monochrome book collection books and um where i got them from how much they were because i got some real bargains in there i got a sudoku over 130 puzzles to solve because i love doing sudokus and this was reduced from 7.99 down to three pounds and it's in like a leather binder in grey so that will be a nice addition as will this one this is a word search I think I probably prefer doing word searches but I just like to sometimes do a little puzzle or two whilst we're watching TV um, just keeps my mind active and I enjoy it is that sad yeah weird probably but this one has like this copper rose gold kind of metallic print word search over 100 puzzles and again the binder is black with a bit of rose gold in there so 7.99 down to three pounds again so i picked that one up and then i got this which is all about it's non-fiction all about um it's called at night a guide for the wakeful so this was reduced from 12.99 down to a pound and then if i did want to take off this paper cover it is a gray book which i actually have a lot of white and black ones but not so many gray so i probably will take that cover off and then i got this one which it is called love bake nourish by amber rose and again the binder is gray with a bit of rose gold it's full of recipes for healthier cakes bakes and puddings full of fruit and flavor this one was reduced from 19.99 down to 12 uh, two pounds sorry not 12 pounds that's not enough of a bargain for me and then lastly i got this one which is called tempt and it's full of a decadent and delicious chocolate recipe so everything you need to know in order to bake with chocolate and this is reduced from 15 pounds down to two pounds and the cover of this one is actually marble which i thought was quite unique something that i don't own if i take off the paper bit as well it's again marble so they are my new and latest additions to my monochrome book collection so anyway i'm gonna have a quick browse in tk maxx now see what they've got if they've got anything i will let you know what i pick up otherwise i think it's just gonna be a quick browse back home then off to get my hair done after a bite to eat and then date night tonight this is my after so i've had some bangs cut in i feel very american saying that and i've also moved my parting a bit more towards the middle and then a couple of colors on the front and everything but more so color in the ends and yeah the main difference are these little bangs that i've got the front so um this is like in the natural light at like half four so it's quite dark so i'll show you inside what it looks like okay i'm back home now so i can show you a bit better oh god i'm so unfit i literally just walking anywhere tires me out that's how unfit i've got let me take off this big jacket <sighs> so as you can see still nice and long I always like to keep the length of my hair. I've had it all different lengths before, but I just find that longer suits me better. And then had these little bangs cut in. My parting moved a bit more towards the center. Uh, a couple of layers cut back in and then a few waves put in as well. So I showed her a couple of pictures of like full bangs and she, my hairdresser always says that it could suit me. But I think this is like a nice transition just to have a few in either side and then they'll do like free fringe trims as well. So like as it starts to grow out a bit more I can just nip in and have it like trimmed back up again. And then booked in before we go away to Naples in March just to have a another little refresh of colour. 
this is my after hat. I'm gonna nip into the office, go see Tom now, see when he's ready to go to the cinema. We'll probably be going in like a few hours and then going to get some food as well at Illuminati, his bar, restaurant. Date night is already a failure before we've even set off. I've just said to Tom like about the cinema and shown him what's on and what times and everything. The one that we would watch is starting at like half eight. <laughs> which is too late for us. By the time it actually starts after the adverts and then a good couple of hours of it on, we won't get home till probably about 11, which is, for us it's quite late. And I hate going to the cinema that late. I'd rather, cause then I just get sleepy and then I just want to go home. So um, we might give it a miss. We might just go for food instead, which is still getting out and having a bit of a date night, just not cinema date night because our cinema is fairly, rubbish the times like of a normal big cinema are like every half an hour for a film and ours is like the one that we wanted to watch the most molly's game i think that's what it's called was only on at 4 50 so there was one showing the whole day um which was too early for us because obviously we were still at well i wasn't but tom was still at work so yeah we might when we when we're in Manchester next year we'll obviously have more choice when we do go to the cinema but this one that we're in at the minute or that we go to at the minute the local one is um is local and fairly pants to be fair so yeah food it is I'll show you what we order but it's probably going to be a wholesome guilt-free cheat meal day <laughs> We are back. Right, I think the plan is Netflix and chill tonight, but we need recommendations because there's so, there's so many things to watch on Netflix that I don't know what, what are the best ones to get going with. Like good films as well as like documentaries because there's so many films on Netflix that I think are, it's underrated basically so yeah good recommendations of films and new series to start seeing as though we finished breaking bad which is amazing the ending was a bit meh i'm not gonna lie it was five series long and we loved every minute of it however at the end it was just a bit like sad that it was over but also alexa's talking to me i hate it when she does that um, just came in and seen. I don't know if I've shown you these yet or not. Pretty little thing. Now, this haul will be up. I think I have shown you actually. This haul will be up by the time you're watching this. So I'll leave it linked below. But there's a running theme of beige going on through there. And I love every single piece. So if you want to watch that video, then I'll leave it linked below for you. And then, yeah, I'm gonna check out tonight. Gonna get into some comfy clothes and um, have a chilled one. <laughs> 